Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mix.Craft, thank you for watching today. So, I have recently moved house and um, I'm kind of there now, so my craft room is still kind of being sorted and I'm waiting for my desk, so I'm in a bit of a temporary kind of setup at the minute, but it's working. And it's certainly a good way to, I think, you know, when you move in, kind of take your time with it and see how things are gonna work, because already I've been changing things in my craft room, but I think I've got it how it's gonna flow. So once the rest of the furniture comes, I will, um, yeah, should be finished. And then I will do a craft room tour, because so many of you have been asking. But amongst the move, I received this the day before I moved. So I was just like, everything was already packed. So I was just like, right, put it somewhere safe. So Tonic um, contacted me maybe about three weeks ago now and asked if I'd like to choose some product and share it with you guys. I can make anything I want. And um, the fact that I get to choose it as well was really nice because then I know that I'm going to, you know, enjoy it. So I know a lot of you like the tonic products and especially like Nuvo Drops and like the mediums. I know everyone mixed up crafters. We're, um, yeah, we're all fans of it, aren't we? So anyway, I wasn't, you know, you never know really what you're going to get in terms of quantity. So I was a bit blown away when I opened this box. So let's just get straight in. Okay, so let me show you the I guess the mediums and things that they've sent me first of all, I'll go through the dyes in a moment. So I have, I did say to them that I have a lot of the embellishment mousse, I've got tons of Nouveau drops, but if there's anything new, then I would like to try it. So they've sent me the crackle mousse and I don't have any of these. So I'm really looking forward to trying these out. And if you've got these and you enjoy them, please drop a comment because I'd like to read them and just see what you kind of think of them and maybe some tips and tricks with them. Um, it would be really much appreciated. So yeah, do leave those comments you know, below so I can read them. So I've got here, so from what I've seen, because I have seen a couple of YouTubes with these, is you literally just paste it on and then give it some time and it will just crackle. I don't believe you add heat, because I think it doesn't work so well if I remember somebody saying. It says here, for a textured finish, apply with a spatula. If applied using a stencil, a raised effect will occur. Ensure a thick, even layer is applied to create a crackled effect. So I think it's, yeah, I mean, they look great. So I've got here, they got me two, oh, I've got two of the same color. <laughs> that probably wasn't intentional and it looks a bit, I'm not sure, can you see there? I guess that's just gotta be mixed. Again, let me know, I haven't opened these at all. This is me kind of really, um, you know, this is a first kind of glance properly at everything because like I said, I got it the day before I moved so I was stressed enough as it was so I just put this to one side but I guess that just needs a good mix up. I don't know how long it's maybe been st um, sat in there but I have two of those ones anyway and then I've got, uh, this is Pink Gin. I like the sound of that one. And then Wrought Iron. So again, the Pink Gin hasn't got that liquid on it. It's, you know, it looks like it's completely mixed. Um, so I guess I don't know if that's to do with the ingredients for those colours. Uh, you can see again here, it's a little bit, you've got that, I guess maybe it's like the, the glue or something, I don't know. But anyway, I've got those, so I'm looking forward to trying them out and seeing how they, you know, react and work. Because I love, like I said, the, you know, the embellishment mousses are great, I've used them. I use them a lot. I showed them in a Facebook Live and then I done the tutorial to make single coloured cards using like one medium or I use the embellishment mousse and I'll link that one up here actually because it's a really nice tutorial and lots of you have been sharing your single coloured cards on the group. So then I've received these here. So I guess these are like, this is a mini embellishment mousse. So I imagine these are what goes what go into the kits and um, doesn't say the colour on this one. Or maybe it's on the side, let's have a look. So things like this are handy anyway for, you know, if I go and craft somewhere else and I just want to take a little pot of something, then these will go into like my little travel bag. And um, it says here, oh, Polar Wind. I don't recognise that name. So I don't believe I have got that colour. Yeah, because I would remember that name, I think, and I, that's not on my swatches, I don't think. So yeah, so that's just a mini one. But I think this is the size that you get if you're, you know, if you receive the tonic kits. I'm sure that's what they send out. Um, but I know you do get full size things as well. So this one here is a jewel drop and this is iceberg blue. And again, I think I may have this one. My Nuvo drops are, drops are currently in a bag. <laughs> They're not even displayed yet because I'm waiting for the my displays and everything to come. So I need to check that out. But I love the Nuvo drops. I think, I, you know, in terms of the crystal drops, I have nearly every one and I'm already on my second kind of little um, 
you know, bottle of some of them because I just use them all the time. They're perfect ways for finishing off your cards. So just add that detail. Um, these ones here are your jewel drops. So these are translucent. You've got crystal drops. You've got your glitter drops. You've got, gosh, what other ones are there? There's loads. There's so many different ones, but um, it's just a nice thing to collect over time. And uh, there's just so many colours to choose from. Then I picked this up and I was really excited. This is probably the one thing I was the most excited about getting in the box because I've tried to get this for so long. Every time I've gone over onto Craft Stash, it's been sold out. I've looked on Tonic and it's been sold out. And then they've put one in here for me. So this is, um, it's just a very good glue. It's a clear drying craft glue. Now it doesn't, um, this is not something in replacement of my Kalau. I don't think anything will ever replace the Kalau. The Kalau is my favourite glue for large surfaces and for, you know, just my mats and layers and um, boxes and things like that. But when you want to stick your tabs down, small areas, and you want a quick grab, then these glues are good. And I use the Cosmic Shimmer, and then I've got this one now, the Nuvo. And I hear great reviews about this one. Easy to use, reliable and vers versatile craft glue. I see lots of people use it. Again, let me know your thoughts on this glue. And um, yeah, it's another one to add to my stash, but it's it's always sold out, <laughs> so it's really nice to have one. I'm not sure if they do bigger bottles. This is a 60 mil, so again, if anybody knows, then yeah, leave a comment. Then I've received these. So these are little blending sponges. So I've got my blending brushes, and I've got the other sponge, the the tonic, the Tim Holtz one, sorry. And um, then these ones are like your little buds. Perfect to use with your Nuvo hybrid ink pads and Nuvo embellishment mousse. So that's quite good because actually I use my finger or one of my blending brushes. So it'd be quite nice to see how the blending mousses work with these. Um, they're really soft. They're like makeup. They're just the same, all the same fabric, you know, materials and stuff with your makeup, like foundation, sponges and stuff. But I've got four there. Again, yeah, let me know what you think, whether you have these and... Um, yeah, what you recommend and what you do with them and things like that. So I've got those four there, just pop all that way. And then I've got some of the, I think these are the water. So we've got three different here. So they've sent me a pack of the Aquaflow brushes. So these are just like a water pen. So in terms of the, the actual barrel and everything, but I guess these are loaded with color. Whereas with other ones, they're just filled with water and then you would pick the colour up with them, for example. That's what I do with like my Arteza ones and things like that. So these here, this is the Ocean Air brush tip watercolour pens. So it'd be interesting to know and see when I do it just how pigmented these are. So you've got, in this one, you've got clear water, vanilla, sundae, and true turquoise. Now, these have, again, a very similar working to the Wink Stella pens. And you have to remove this piece. And I know some of you might be like, yeah, we know that, Sam. But you'd be surprised. And when I first got these kind of pens, I didn't realise that. And I was, you know, and they didn't fall off like this one either. And I'm there trying to, you know, get them to work. But you have to remove that. And then you pop them back on. And when you... It will, you'll sometimes hear a little sound, but it will puncture a hole and it will allow then that all of that kind of pigment and the fluid to then move through the pen to the end and onto the brush. And then you would usually, yeah, there's a press there. So you just press that for a while and you can start to see how well, let's see how long this takes to come down. But yeah, the Wink Stella, there we go. It's already coming down here. Can you see? <laughs> Bring it up there. There we go. So that's the vanilla sundae starting to fill the brush there and just kind of yeah squeeze it carefully and just let it fill that brush and then that's ready to go you know maybe give them a shake as well because there might be if they've got mica in them then sometimes that will settle so you'll want to move that but just again you'll, you'll feel it sometimes they make a click depending on the the you know the brand some of them are a bit different see that one's not there we go so just give it a little bit of a, a you know a push and again just then Press on the sides and you'll start to see that pigment come down through. There we go. I can just start to see it. It's just moving in here and it's starting to fill the brush. I can see the colour now coming in there. So that's that one. And let's just try this one here because this is a bit of a darker colour. I think most of them do have this fluorescent yellow band on them. And um, so that one was really easy to do. 
but yeah you have to remove it some don't fall off these fall off so easily that you know it kind of helps you there but some of them they don't they're quite stuck on there you have to unscrew them and I think that's where people have you know been struggling like I did so I done a video for the Winger Stella ones and so many people comment saying thank you so much I almost threw mine in the bin so um yeah again just get that one oh, I can see it start to come down here it will fill up this end of the barrel here and there you can see there's a real strong colour now of that blue just coming through onto the bristles there so those are nice I love those colours and um, so I'll be using those this one here this is an aqua shimmer so this would be the kind of one which will have your mica in it so you would want to I would imagine I know I would I'd give it a shake so again I'm going to grab a bit of paper in a minute and check and test all these so I'm just kind of moving them oh look at that that one's actually <laughs> so it's come out here but look that is absolutely gorgeous there is so much pigment and mica in that that's really shiny fortunately this is a shiny surface so I'll be able to wipe that off in a minute so I'm just going to pop that one in there and then this one here I guess is going to be a, a comparison a good comparison to the Wink Stella and the Spectrum Noir glitter pen which I have this one here is your opal quartz and it just adds a subtle iridescent shimmer effect which is what those others do and I use them a lot again it's a bit like you know adding the Nouveau drops at the end of a project this is something that's lovely to just brush over maybe like the leaves or the flower petals on your projects and um, it just looks lovely so again just give it a nice squeeze just might as well put the other one on my there we go you can see it just coming out there oh yeah you can see that iridescence like um, you know when you look at the when there's a rainbow and there's like maybe some like petrol or something on the floor and it catches the rainbow that's what I can see there you're probably not picking that up but it looks really nice I'm going to pop them onto some paper just so you can see the colours a little bit better okay so just need to the bristles are quite um, stiff so you have to kind of soften them up once that kind of pigment starts flowing the brush there we go but you can see there so that's that one and then this is a darker one again once it starts to flow freely and you'll get it coming out nicely that's that one there and then that's the oh this is the blush rosette sorry it's not the one from that trio I'll let that dry a second and then I'll hold it up and they do click in make sure you click them into place again so this is that vanilla sundae it's a really nice subtle it's almost a quite a nice um, skin colour as well. It's pilling up there. You can see all the bits of the, the fibres from the cardstock lifting. So, yeah, I'll definitely use them on my watercolour paper. Or it's certainly a thicker cardstock. And then this is just the iridescent one. But I'm also going to grab a piece of black card. Just so you can see. <laughs> Looks like it's purple when it comes out. But I imagine... That will, once that settles and dries, you'll just be left with a sparkle. You can just see there. It just looks wet, actually. It doesn't show you anything, but I can see all the sparkle in there. And again, apart from the pilling, because I've used the wrong cardstock, but can you see, it really picks up that shine there with that lovely, what's it called again? Keep forgetting the name, blush rosette. That's really nice. Yeah love those so that's nice so it's certainly something that I can start playing around with and then you know if I feel that I'm really enjoying them then there's so many colours and you know within the collection that you can go for so that's all of those bits so let's move on to the dies okay so I was a little bit spoiled with the dies this is what I just didn't expect all of this to come so first of all we've got this here so they call them the floral favour box and you get 19 dies in this one here so let's have a quick look inside. So I don't even know how you open these because I've never had a tonic dice. I've always had not like this in their new packaging. I've got a lot of their older stuff. So I've got a lot of like their nesting dies and things like that. So I will end up transferring all of this onto my magnetic sheets. But now you take it out. All oh, right, okay. So there you can see the size of it. So you die cut this twice, but you've also got, it looks like two different patterns here. You've got this pattern here, and then you've got this version. So it'd be nice to see how that all comes about. And then you've got two sentiments here that says just for you, and then with love. You can see there the with love or the just for you. So it's a great little size. I wonder if it would fit some Tunnock's tea cakes in. 
<laughs> you've got all these different panels here as well. So you've got a honeycomb and then that honeycomb one. And then this is just like a, a bit of a trellis effect. So you can see the honeycomb one there actually. So yeah, no, they look really nice. And you've got this as well. I need to have a little look, check out some of the design team on YouTube and see what they've done with them as well. So that was that one. You can see it all on the back there as well. You can see them a little bit clearer there. Let me just show you the frames. And this is called a Flourishing Floral Favour Box. It's a bit of a mouthful. Okay, so that's that one there. And then we'll carry on with these. So this is another favour box. This one here is the Embellished Swirl Favour Box. So again, let's have a little look inside here. You know, things like this are perfect for, you know, if you're planning your own wedding or you've been asked to do the favours for a wedding. The dies for things like this are just perfect for that speed, really, especially if you're doing like a big bulk, you know, amount. So um, these look really pretty in your different party colours or wedding colours. So you get 13 dies and you can see how they work there. So you, you it looks like you do the tray. All oh, right, so that's all attached. Yes, yeah, so it's one big one. For some reason, it reminds me of something out of Alice in Wonderland, I don't know, like the Queen, something, I don't know, it's just got a bit of a shape to that, but it's nothing to do with that, so ignore what I'm saying there, but <laughs> it's just the feeling I got from it. Um, but I like that you can back it, so you can see there, that's just showing all that detail, and you can actually see through it, or it might have some acetate in there, but I like that version, I think, more, because I think you really get to see all the beautiful pattern. So, and that is just by, there's a frame one here, yeah, you can, you can just about make it out, that one so that will just cut a block color and then you can back it behind any of these so I like that and I wonder if this one has that no it's slightly different however you could easily back that I just think then you get to really see all that pattern so there we go and they've even done the little holes here for you to be able to thread your ribbon through as well which is nice. I like this die, the love, and it's things like this that I, you find me, I pull a lot of dies from different kind of collections and use them in my crafting. So, you know, something like that. I know I've got card shapes and stuff that that would probably fit nicely in. So um, yeah, no, I look forward to trying that one out. And I know my mum is gonna be after these because this is right up her street as well. But this is the one, this is the one I just fell in love with and I thought I really want to try this and it is just this adorable satchel bag die set but it's a mini album um, and since moving I have found so much of my old just school books and we always used to send letters in school it was a, a and I'm so glad we did because the memories I've I mean I guess we all do it when we move house but who gets sidetracked amongst all the boxes and you end up sitting on the floor I just had school letters some of them were just so embarrassing but I thought I'd really love something or a way to documentate them and I also found all the letters that my dad used to send me when he was away at sea in the navy so um again I want to have and you know find some nice ways to do them so it might not be the satchel style but I think for the ones for my dad but certainly for the ones with my school letters I might do this in the colours of my school and you know I can put like the date and stuff on it and I just think it would be a really nice little keepsake for doing that and I will of course do a YouTube video to show you how I do it but there you can see it on the back and I like that it has these pockets so that I can put the letters in there so they're protected and um, I can just it'd be nice to just know that if I grab this album it's got all of those in there because I know that when I invite all my um my girlfriends round because I'm still very close friends with a lot of my school friends we can have a right giggle looking back at um because a lot of the letters are from them when we were like 15 so let's have a little look here you get so many dies 26 dies in this one and that's your binding system there so I imagine that's what you will connect all of the well that's the hinge um and then you've got all the decorations and stuff so yeah I'm really looking forward to doing this one whether I'll use all these pieces in my version, I might keep it just a bit plainer and maybe, I don't know, print something out to put on it. But I just love that concept of opening it up like this and then having those. And I wonder if you can extend it. I'm sure if I look at a way of making it a bit wider, um, you may well be able to do that. But I just think it's really good. I'm really, really pleased with this one. It's part of their memory book line. So you get the base and decoration and I imagine, oh it says here compatible with most, oh that's the die machines, but I'm sure there are add-ons for things like this as well. So yeah, really excited for that one. And then I have these here, which oh, I think are brilliant. So I do have, 
they're a little bit smaller and it was by Fast Edition and they done these Scrabble style, they call them here gaming tiles and they're brilliant but it was these ones and oh, I love these, these are just so good, they're going to be perfect for mini albums, perfect for my vintage things, the junk journals and stuff like that, I just love them and you can obviously you can write anything you want, so these are your typewriter tiles and you get 40 and then these are your gaming tiles and again but even if you want to do any of your, like your home decor um, I've got quite a few frames and I like to just make my own phrases um, I've got some old scrabble boards with the letters that I've got framed and um, I love them and they make really nice gifts so I think yeah certainly for some Christmas ideas for me I'm going to be using probably this one for the frames but I love this style for like my junk journaling and my mini albums and stuff you can use both but they're really, really nice. You get, um, yeah, I did say that you get 40. Yes, yeah, 40 in both of them. And again, let's just open this one up here. Got all your letters, you've got your numbers there. They are, in terms of size, they're 0.8 inches, 21 millimeters. So if you just want an idea there of the actual size. And then these ones here are 0.8 by 0.9, 21 by 22 millimeters. So it's about the same. And what I like here is you've got your blank one. So you can, you know, cut a load of those and then cut these in a different colour and then back them. So, so I would probably maybe see what it looks like. Do that in holographic cardstock and then do these in another colour. And then you'll have the letter itself will, you know, show that holographic card through. I think that'd look really nice. So they're just great. Really, really nice. Lovely addition to my alphabet dies um, to have something like that. So, yeah. Again, thank you very much. And then I have these ones here. So these are Love Life Sentiments die sets. I do love a sentiment. That's the one thing I say a lot is you can never have too many sentiments. Even if it's the same, it says the same thing. You know, they all look different. Um, and they can, the styles can really change the look of your project. So yeah, sentiment dies I think are brilliant. So these are, so you've got here, sending and kisses and is all you need and then you got with love so you could have love is all you need I guess but then you haven't got love I don't know with love lo oh I see how they work it takes me a while guys <laughs> that's why it's always good to flick it over and see what's on the back so you got with love sending love these are all the different kind of ways that you can put it together love and kisses and then love is all you need get it because <laughs> uh, on here that looks like one die but it's not I really like I didn't realize so this is gorgeous actually that is a great big love so yeah I can see now how these would all kind of then fit together that's really good I like that a lot in fact I've got a card idea and someone that I can send that to so I think that's going to be quite appropriate so um, yeah just nice big sentiments you can see the sizes of those and I'll give you a quick um, measurement with them so that's just under four by just under two and a half again the same there and then but that one's more just under two again that's like one and a half maybe I'd say two because it kind of goes up a bit there this one here they're all the same width so that's just under four that's two and a quarter and then this one here to the highest point is three so it's three by you know four it's a really nice size perfect to go on the front of your, um, your cards but also for me it's more 3d projects like gift boxes and stuff I think they're gonna look really nice on and then I've got these here which are really nice frames so they're quite um, different to my usual style but I don't tend to use things all together um, and how they kind of <laughs> show you to use them as you will know if you follow me I'm more interested in the frames on their own because I just love this one here which rather than having a stitch detail it's just got lots of little dots um, so I know that's going to fit onto my six by sixes um, and it's just nice having all these different frames but with those little details in it's just something a bit different and then in the middle here you have this pattern but I quite like you know the frame there from it there's so many and obviously lots of um, ways that you can put this all together to create different looks so 
that's the square seamlessly beautiful crystal sphere die set and this is the seamlessly beautiful natural entwine die set entwine die set yeah make sure I say that right so again let me just take these out I've got lots of stuff to store away now <laughs> but these I think you're going to see me using these more um, there's probably a really easy way to open these guys but I'm not too precious on the packaging this will go into my recycling bin um, so I mean if you are someone that likes to you know keep them all in these then <laughs> don't do what I'm doing but um, again when I do like my rocker cards and things like that it's going to be quite nice to have just that one there with that different detail on it I really like it that's got to me it feels a little bit Christmassy as well imagine that as a shaker card you know it's almost got a bit like a snowflake or something in fact you know without that detail and just have it actually you've got another one there as well I would almost remove that and have that as a Christmas shaker card and then have Merry Christmas in the middle I think that looks really nice so you'll probably see me do that so just you know don't always look at things as they put them together but that is a lovely that would make a nice Christmas gift tag if you just done those two together, there's your backing. How pretty is that as a gift tag? Really nice. Do that in some white like glitter card or something. I think that'll look really, really nice. So yeah, I might even put this one in my Christmas kind of um, with my Christmas dies because that's that feels quite Christmassy to me, but I do love these circle dies just with the detail and also this one here it's got a kind of a bit of a porthole feel to it because it's got those little kind of dots there you know if you've got a nautical underwater these are going to work really well for that so um yeah just you know when you're looking at things to buy kind of you know it's hard to do sometimes but kind of look at them all as separate pieces and you know if it's something that you feel you can get a lot from then it just makes it really good value for money and I actually think this would work for quite a few things so I'm really pleased with those ones I like those ones a lot and then this one here is that natural entwine that I said so let me just take this one out I'm bound to get people commenting about the way I've unpacked these but <laughs> never mind so and this one here I, love, I do love that design in the middle it's got a bit of a Medusa feel to it. I actually played Medusa in a school play. <laughs> I had to make her hair with all of the snakes. That was really funny. I'll try and find a photo of that actually. But that's what that reminds me of. But again, I think these make great gift tags. Just think there's something about them. And um, yeah, there you can see those different frames again. So there's lots, lots and lots of dies across all of them. And this acetate I will be keeping because it's really nice sheets there. That is, you know, keep that. So I'll recycle all the card, but this acetate will go in with my other acetate and I'll be using this for my, you know, shaker cards and any other card designs where I use the acetate. So that's always good. And then this one here is the designer's choice. Now I had a look on their website and I cannot find the designer for this one. So if anybody knows, I don't know if this is brand new or whether it's very old, but it's, I believe from what I've looked at, but if someone can comment just so I can look up exactly how you're to do this, but it looks to me like it's a mini album because these look like your front and back pages or these are all the pages and this is your kind of hinge. I imagine you put ribbon through this maybe and um, maybe there is, this is, well no, because I think the designer choice is the whole point is that that is everything you need. These look like maybe little buckles or something. These look like tabs. So I'd love to see what this meant is, you know, what it does look like. So. Yeah, if anybody can help me out, if I put it against this, you might be able to see it a bit better. If anybody's got this one and they know the name of it, then I can check out some tutorials and have a little look. But it, it again, I was kind of excited because I thought it looks like a mini album kind of thing. So, um, which, you know, I like. Um, and I've got so much stuff that I would now want to, um, you know, actually put into albums. And it looks like here, yeah, these look like the ends of your pages because... It only cuts on you get I guess like the three sides here this is no there's no cut line here so I imagine that's the width of a page and that's the edge and then maybe you cut it with this I've got a, a kind of a slight idea but I'm not a hundred percent so um, yeah it'd be nice to know and I like these plastic wallets so I guess for those of you that collect the designer choice 
I imagine that they've got some kind of file where you can keep all this in because it's just a little pocket there with the holes on the side and it says designer choice but I know these are designer choice are by the designers and they give you the name of the designer but I couldn't see this one at all so um yeah it'd be nice to know about that one okay so that is everything that I've been sent by the lovely guys at Tonic Studios I can't wait to start crafting especially I think this is the first thing I'm going to do is this mini album while those letters and everything are fresh in my mind um I think I'm going to work on that one so you'll see that one coming soon and then these I think you're just going to see featuring quite regularly throughout because I just think it's quite nice um, to, yeah, just, you know, make your own little sentiments and titles and stuff up. And the pens and stuff, the glue, I'm going to pop in front of me now just so I remember to use that. And, I'm yeah, I want to know what you guys think of the crackle glaze or, no, crackle mousse, sorry, and how those work. And, uh, yeah, I will uh, be sharing as much of it with you as I can over the coming weeks and months. So thank you for watching. As always, I will share all the links to everything that I've shared below. And I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.